Negative feedback is a signal with a reverse phase that is fed back into the amp at an earlier stage. It dampens the gain at that stage a little bit. And usually what happens is the signal leaves the output transformer and is fed back into a preamp tube somewhere in the preamp stage. Um, and that's going to go into the cathode of a preamp tube. Um, and like I've done here, I've added a pot to control this part of the circuit um, some people will do use a switch or something like that but what it'll do is it'll allow you to get more headroom out of a high gain amp or a higher gain amp um, how it's going to affect your signal or sound or tone or whatever is going to depend uh, greatly on the circuit of that amp and how you set up the, the negative feedback circuit um, and I'll show an image here of a classic circuit it's a 5F1 a uh, Fender Champ circuit, and it's a very simple negative feedback circuit. Basically, you have the signal coming out of the output transformer, going back into the cathode of the preamp tube. In this circuit, there's only one preamp tube, um, and there's a fixed resistor there, and that's controlling the negative feedback. Now, you can completely omit that resistor. Um, some amps do that. The Fender, what is it, the Vibrolux, Deluxe Vibrolux Reverb, or um, yeah, the Vibrolux, Tuscan Vibrolux Reverb uh, has no negative feedback circuit in it. Um, I now have modded several of those amps to, to have one or have a variable one. <clears throat> but as you add or as you change your resistance in that part of the circuit, you'll get more headroom um, one way and more compression the other. Um, now, amps that don't have any negative feed, a negative feedback circuit will tend to have more harmonics. Um, whether or not those harmonics are good depends on the player, what they like to hear. But uh, those harmonics are, in fact, distortion that are being introduced as not part of the original signal. Uh, negative feedback will lower your output impedance, uh, but it will also redu reduce this harmonic distortion that we're talking about and reduce noise. You'll lose uh, some gain because you're taking some of the gain from the output and dampening that first gain stage. Um, but I personally like it, but my opinion is irrelevant. Um, the more negative feedback you introduce in your signal, the more controlled and less raw it will feel. Um, your gain will be reduced. Um, the speaker will seem to interact less with the rest of the amp. Um, but the less negative feedback you get, the more um, open and you know roomy it's going to seem. Um, you'll have a little more gain. Uh, you know your touch response, um, your touch sensitivity, or response sensitivity is going to be um, different throughout the range also. Now what I've done with this amp, um, which is also a Fender 5F1 uh, Champ clone circuit, probably one of my favorites, but anyway, uh, you have your input jack on the left, your volume pot in the middle, and the NFB pot on the right-hand side. Now a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's got a tone knob. That's not a tone knob. Tone knob's on your guitar. <clears throat> But what this will do is basically give you the ability to control what we're talking about as far as um, how much negative feedback you have in your circuit. And I have this one set up so it goes to zero. So I can turn off negative feedback completely. And it'll have more of that, um, that open sound or whatever that the, the Fender Custom Vibrolux Reverb uh, more of that sound like the Fender Vibrolux has. <clears throat> um, and the exact opposite, you know, the other end of the spectrum. Um, I like this amp with that function because recording, I have more control over my sound. 
um, certain parts on a, in a song I may want you know a nice tight um, defined tone and then, then on another part I may want a big open roomy um, sound just to kind of lay a kind of a color in an area <clears throat> um, so for recording it's, it's awesome um, but anyway I hope this has been uh, I hope somebody can get some use out of this um, amp builders and experimenters and all that um, if you take a look at your schematic for your tube amp you'll be able to find your negative feedback circuit um, if you look for a line coming out of the output transformer being fed back into one of the preamp tubes usually there'll be a resistor basically in between these two and it'll look you know these kind of mods are real easy to do if you're any good with soldering if you're not any good with soldering it's not hard to get good at soldering um, there's plenty of videos on here about that kind of thing but just take your time there are some lethal lethal voltages in here never go blindly sticking both hands in an amp um, if you do that's on you if you get killed it's not my fault um, there's plenty of information on the web to keep you from dying and usually I mean, common sense should prevail and keep you from dying anyway but we all know that's not the case all the time so anyway thanks for listening and uh, we'll see you around